I don't know if you know, but smart home gyms are all the rage right now. Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. And the reason why a lot of people aren't diving into this trend is because they're pretty expensive until now. In this video, I'm gonna review the U Trainer by Unitop. So I'm gonna break this review down in three parts. I'm gonna give you my first initial impressions. I'm gonna do exercise testing. And then finally, I'm gonna give you my overall review opinion. Now it's time to unbox this thing and see what my first initial impressions are. All right, so it looks like it comes in two boxes here. And so uh, let's see what's going on. So let's see what's behind box number one. Smart home gym fitness trainer. 220 pounds maximum tension. Look at this, this real beefy buff guy on here. All right, open here. Okay. It smells new. We don't have smell vision but it smells new. All right, so I'm gonna slide this box to a more well-lit area so you can see all these accessories that it comes with. Look at all these beautiful accessories. They pretty much have every attachment you need to get a good workout. All right, so it looks like the entire unit is powered by USB-C cable. But the issue is that it doesn't come with a plug that you can attach it to. So this cord that it comes with, not only is it too short, there's no plug for power at the end, so I have to buy my own power source. I had to attach my own travel power hub to make it work. Now, one thing I want to bring up, as I use the machine more, I found out that it actually has an internal battery, so you don't have to keep it plugged up the entire time. All right, so there's a couple of ways you can add resistance. So you can do it right on the device itself with this dial. You can change it this way. Or you can use the app. So you can use this freestyle and they have different modes that you can do. And you can set the resistance that you want to start off, but that can also be changed during the workout. So you just pretty much select which one you want. You hit start. Now the good thing about this is that it has something where you can see yourself during the workout. So you can actually set it up on a tripod and if you have the extended version, the top version, it actually has holders for you so you can see your muscles contracting during your workout. So another thing you can do if you don't like looking at yourself is that you can actually get direct coaching. So you can select what you want to work out and you can go over to what you would like to see worked out in the video. You hit next, set your resistance level. So we're gonna turn it up a little bit here. And what's cool about it is that you can also select the reps. So when we start it up, now we have guided instruction. Look, Ma, I'm doing it just like the video. I'm gonna have muscles in no time. Okay, one other thing that I forgot to point out is that the bands can be adjusted individually. So if you need to use two different resistance or work out with a partner, you can do that with this device. Now back to the video. Now the next exercise I wanted to try out on the U-Trainer, before I put the attachment on to turn it into the U-Trainer Plus, was squats. So I just started out with the light resistance just to get a feel of the machine first. Now let's see what happens when I turn it up to 100 pounds. What I do like about it is that as soon as I hit the resistance on, it really doesn't take an effect until I get to that squat down position. So if you want to lift very heavy, you can safely by uh, putting it to a high weight and get it set on your shoulders first. Ooh. Now that's some resistance. All right. So, uh, the rest of this is not as exciting, so um, we're just gonna hit super fast forward on here and you'll get to see what the finished product looks like. That's the mystery of like watching the video till the end. Now I'm in the middle of building this during a football game. It's halftime right now, and I'm making sure that I can get this done before the football game. So I really appreciate it if you hit that like button, if you're enjoying the content that you're seeing right now. Thank you so much, and uh, let me get back to building this. Now, I did find by adding the U-Trainer Plus, there is a lot more involved when it comes to assembly. 
I would say the assembly took me around 45 minutes, but a lot of things I got confused on the instructions. So let's chalk that up to user error. I think most people, it would take around 30 minutes. Now here is the final product with the U-Trainer Plus attached. Now let's test out some exercises with this attachment. All right, as you can see, I have it on the highest resistance and I can't do anything. So let's put it on something more reasonable. Now, as far as the contraction for the lat pull downs, it's actually pretty excellent for it. This is one of the best that I've seen to get you in the right position to really contract that back. Now I do wish that the seat would like lock in just a little bit closer, but it has um, holes already there. So you have to use those type of holes um, because I like to be a little bit closer with my lat pull downs, but it's the best one that I've seen as far as to get a great lat pull down at home. And then there's this thing right here that you're gonna like twist, pull out twist and pull and you see right here it actually folds backwards but I got a wall here so you have to wheel it forward to create more space whoa so getting the handles this is a little awkward okay all right Finally, a chest flies. I will say once I got everything in place, it felt like chest flies at a cable machine, except for this one part. It doesn't have negative resistance. That's right, so on the return back from the fly, there is no resistance. I really wish that it had that. Now when you're done working out and you wanna put this up for storage, I wanna show you the process. You wanna unscrew this part lift up the seat and then from there you're going to take out a pin and lock it into place and once you got it all nice and upright it's all about moving up the arms and you just roll it back to the wall so this is just a representation of how much space it saves as you see the bench folds up and you put the arms up and that's the smallest it can be now here are my overall thoughts i really like the packaging of the u trainer itself just that U-Trainer. The box looked very inviting. There were a lot of different parts and accessories that I could really use. I love the size of it. And when I talk about the size of it, it's so small that you can just roll it up under your bed and it won't be in the way at all. Now, a lot of the things that I didn't find so desirable had to do with the functionality of using everything. I did find it very awkward if I wanted to take the plus off, I mean the top portions there, and I just wanted to use the bottom of the U-Trainer which I find that I like to switch in between exercises, especially on chest day. So sometimes I just want the bottom piece and sometimes I just want the top piece when I want to do certain exercises. Now, if you need to do both within your workout, it can be a little bit more time consuming. So it does require some planning if you're going to get a full good workout with this. I will say that this has to be the best machine I've ever used for lat pull downs. A lot of problem with some other all-in-one smart gyms is that they don't come up high enough where you get full extension of your lats. And also it can be problematic if you're using like a resistance band and you have the door in front of your way and you have to close the door for the door anchor and there's not enough stretch there at the top. It's really loose by the time you come down. This right here really solves that problem. But with the lat pull down exercise, I think they're missing an opportunity on the seat. I did find the seat only had certain fixated positions that you could put it on. And I feel like they needed more perforated holes for all the different seat positions. It stops at a certain uh, area. And I found that in some exercises, I wish that the seat moved a little bit more forward or back. As I look at the design, I can see they have space for it. So just put it in there. I did find it very awkward when I want to increase resistance, especially in between sets. I had two options. Either I can use the dial underneath or I can use my smartphone. 
Either one of those is pretty challenging during the workout. So especially if you have the U Trainer Plus portion attached to it, it's underneath the seat or underneath the bar. So you have to go ahead and do that to, to get to it. Or you have to go through the series of things with your phone in order to increase and decrease resistance. What I've seen some other all-in-one systems do is they have a wearable device so you can change it on the fly. So that way I'm not resetting my whole workout just to increase resistance. I can maintain my position and increase that resistance on the fly. Now, one of the things that really saves the cost in this all-in-one smart system is that it doesn't come with one of those included 4K screens for all of your exercises if you want coaching or anything like that. Instead, it has phone holders on the U-Trainer Plus. So you can be in certain positions and you can watch the exercises. But if you're just gonna use the U-Trainer, just the bottom portion, it's very hard for me to find any type of good angle without some aftermarket tripod or stand for me to get that coaching. And the thing that I had the biggest gripe about in this machine is that there was no negative resistance. It was only positive resistance. So for example, when I was doing a bicep curl, all I could get was a resistance when I come up to squeeze, but on the way down, it was very loose. To me, both portions of the repetition are very important for muscle development. Another gripe that I had was the space. It seems like it's space saving, but if you're gonna fold the arms down for a lot of exercises, it's gonna take up even more space. I did find it kind of awkward to always kind of unscrew to put the seat up to get it out of the way. And I had a lot of stability issues um, as far as the machine, because it seems like all the parts need to be in place for it to be balanced. But with all that said, this starts at $500 if you just want the U-Trainer, and the U-Trainer Plus is $600. Now compared to all the other ones that I've seen that are over a thousand, if you're a person who's looking to get an all-in-one system on a budget, if you're a beginner out there, if you're a person out there not looking to be a bodybuilder, if you're a person just looking for general fitness and you're a beginner out there, this is a good beginner set that you can start off with a very low budget. Now, if you're interested in the U Trainer or the U Trainer Plus, I put a link in the description so you can start your workout journey today.